Colin Thurston, who'd produced yes. Rio and, and, and the first album with us, he taught me a lot. And I started to learn about the harmonizers and the flangers and the AMS and, and the desk and uh, learned how to group things together and all of those kind of things. But, but really, my knowledge went up enormously working with you oh, here. Wow. Because, well, you really knew absolutely everything was at your fingertips, wasn't it? I mean, even tuning, Simon. Because, that was an interesting time because it was maybe midway through the technological uh, explosion and all the stuff hadn't come in. Certainly there wasn't Pro Tools and all the things you can do now with auto-tuning. So we were trying to get Simon's vocals, you know, a little bit more in tune. Yeah. And we were actually writing the knob on the, uh, on the harmonizer, you know, live. There was no program. No, no absolutely. Point. But I remember that because I remember when we did the take, Simon is, is a complete um, tuning freak and, and he sings you know, pretty damn spot on. But of course, then we used to have to do things in entire takes. That's right. So you wouldn't go in and say, oh, let me just fix that note there. Can't you do it. Couldn't. couldn't do it. So we had to take, use the take that was the best vibe and say, right, that's it. Yeah, that one little note's just a little bit flat there, but you fixed that. 